April showers, windstorms, etc., etc. They bring May flowers. And PSSA and Keystone testing. We are on the home stretch for the end of the school year, so let's get right into right now. Testing one, two, three. Students across the district have been working hard on those PSSA tests and Keystones, and AP tests are just around the corner. Good luck to everyone. We know you will all do great. North Penn held its second forum on building renovations and needs at Penfield Middle School in early April. District administrators provided updates on the Knapp Elementary School project, ninth grade center concepts, Crawford Stadium, and the impact on the budget. You can watch the forum on youtube.com slash NPTV. Education designation from the National Association of Music Merchants Foundation for its outstanding commitment to music education. Members of several vocal and music groups recently returned from their performances at the Pennsylvania Music Educators Association. Congratulations to three Odyssey of the Mind teams that have advanced to the World Finals competition at Michigan State University. One team from Pembroke and two teams from the high school placed in the top two at the recent state competition earning them a trip to Worlds. The high school rocked this year's mini-thon with intense dancing and fundraising efforts. $55,173.59 were raised for the Four Diamonds Foundation. Between Montgomery and the high school, that's nearly hundred grand for childhood cancer research. The International Spring Festival was another smashing success this past Saturday. Over 30 different cultures from around the community were represented in a day of activities for all ages. Great food, music, and fun filled the entire building. The high school hosted a home unified track meet last week. The unified team took home another win versus Souderton, and all of our unified sports were featured on Fox 29. Emmy Award winning anchor Bob Kelly interviewed several students on the team about all of their accomplishments, and a large group of students were there to cheer on the unified teams. Fox 29 just can't get enough of North Penn. Earlier this month, the high school competed on Classroom, and last night, Penfield students David Riley, Ben Vilgrav, and Anaya Ventacolum took on their teachers, Mr. Gallucci, Ms. Bria, and Ms. Dillon. No spoilers here, but last night, the teachers came out on top and raised $500 for the Penfield TV program. This just in, U.S. World News again named North Penn High School one of the best schools in the nation. Only the top 40% of high schools are even considered for this honor. To learn more, visit about the criteria and see all PA high schools on this list. Visit the link on your screen below. Homework is tough at any grade level, but students at Gwen Nor get a little extra help from some high school students. All you're going to do is just multiply across. This is Study Buddies, and this goes on at Gwen Nor Elementary School from 4 to 5 p.m. on Thursdays and high schoolers are paired up with fifth grade students. They basically review concepts that they may not be familiar with or may have struggled in learning in their class at school. They just go over it with the high schoolers and make sure that they really do understand it for future use. My partner, Anna, and I both attended this elementary school and we saw that students at the high school needed service hours. I remember when I was little, I always used to look up to kids that were older than me. That relationship kind of is very strong between these two groups of people, so I think it's a great idea that these high schoolers are taking their time to come down to work with some of these fifth graders. She is really funny, nice, and she always motivates me to learn some more. I like to spend time with my buddy a lot. We, we, we both learn a lot of cool things. We both really like spending time with each other on Thursdays. He's a great buddy and a really good friend too. Foundation does so much great work for all of us in North Penn. Foundation grants support some of the most innovative educational ideas our teachers have. Funds for those grants come from individual donations, big and small, but most come from the golf outing and online auction. Dr. Dietrich is live in the prize room to learn more about this event. Good afternoon, North Penn. I'm here live with the executive director of the North Penn Educational Foundation, Christine Liberoski. Christine, it's that time of the year, auction time. What are some of the items that our employees and our parents could bid on? Once again, we have some great um, items this year. I hope everybody's taken a look at the email and at the auction items. So we have many baskets. If you want to try your luck, we have lottery tickets, over $100 worth of tickets. But you can you know, maybe take home $1,000 after scrap, scra uh, scratching those off. Lots of baskets from our schools. I really want to uh, shout out to our schools for donating these. Um, if you look online, we also have tickets to sporting events like the Phillies, to Penn State. We have jewelry. We have restaurant gift certificates. 
certificates, um, scuba, you name it, there's probably something that you would really enjoy on the auction. I think we have some North Penn unique experiences too. I remember doing that over the years. That's right. I think you were nurse for a day. Yeah, Very enjoyable. And I think I, I still have to uh, do this year's. I have to be AV someday. But oh. yes, you can walk in our shoes. We have to walk in your shoes. I could say cabinet. You could bid on that. You can have a birthday party in the natatorium. Uh, you can have front row seats at graduation. So uh, front row seats at our um, winter concert too at the high school. So lots of different things. I, I know you, you would really enjoy um, some of these. So take a look. And these support various activities of the foundation. Uh, grants would be one of those. Talk to us a little bit about those grants. Favorite ones, how do you apply for a grant? Well, applying for a grant is really easy, and you should have gotten an email from me. We extended the deadline to this Friday, and um, all you have to do is click on the link. It's on our website. Fill out a few questions, and um, we got you covered. We'll be letting you know in May if you have it for next year. As to my favorite grants, I mean, there's so many. I've been doing this for over 20 years now, but recently we've been supporting the unified uh, teams at the high school, track um, and bocce, and I really enjoy that. I get to go out and see the students, and they're so thankful for the support that we give to them, so I have to say that those are my favorites. Lots of awesome activities from our foundation. One last, what's coming up next, Christine? Well, back by popular demand, we're going to do a, a North Penn night at the Phillies. So mm -hmm. mark your calendar, September 28th. It's a Saturday. I think it's the second to the last home game um, uh, regular season. It's going to be a foundation fundraiser. More to come. Mark those calendars, get online, bid on these auction items, support the North Penn Education Foundation. It's time is running out. I think the deadline is tomorrow, 9 o'clock, so make sure you get online and bid, 9 p.m. tomorrow evening. Erica Molina, back to you. Thanks, Dr. Dietrich. One of those foundation grants funded a mock apartment at Pendale Middle School to teach life skills to some of our students. We were visiting an out-of-district placement for students with autism and then we started talking about how could we make that happen at North Penn. We had a donation through the North Penn Ed Foundation directed towards special education and we thought that that would really be a great use of those funds. And students with autism often have difficulty with generalizing and that's transferring skills from one environment to another. Things like making a bed, putting away groceries, all of those kinds of skills. While we could do it somewhat in a classroom, it's really not the same natural environment that you would have like in a home or in an apartment type setting. The earlier we start practicing these skills, the better off they're going to be because our students really do need a lot of drill and repetition in order to master skill. The reality is for many things that we take for granted, that we're now able to teach our children here so they can become independent living one day is huge. And this is great for kids, so I'm just pleased and really proud. It's the end of April. It's time for 21 Things. Caps off to Bridle Path students collecting more than 250 pounds of bottle caps to recycle into a park bench for the school's playground. Gwenmore students always practice good behavior in the cafeteria. Mr. Fickert leads Earth Day efforts at the square by planting new shrubs and flowers around the sign. First graders help teach their friends about autism, and students in pre-K make homemade pizzas with the SNS team. Inglewood students celebrated Helping Hands Day in April, providing bags of donations for area charities as well as the firefighters, police, and ambulance personnel. Mrs. Scott from Knapp Elementary School always goes above and beyond for students and staff. Students at Nash engaged in a science adventure and discovery with the Franklin Institute on their first day back from spring break. Run Wales, run! Hundreds of North Wales students and family members ran in the annual Color Me with Pride Fun Run. The students at Oak Park who attend the extended school care program wrote and illustrated their own children's book based on Elizabeth McDonald's book, Mike's Kite. Students at York always enjoy reading, especially at Literacy Night. Thank you to students and staff who have donated towels, blankets, dog food, cat food, and treats to the Haley's Haven Brotherly Love Free Vet Clinic. Seventh grade pen time groups recently completed an activity with two important missions. They took the Canstruction Challenge and brought in canned food, which was then used in a team building mission. Cans will then be donated to Mana on Main Street. Oh say can you see the Pendale Camerata performing at the Iron Pigs? The group did a great job under the direction of Mrs. Clank. Great Gatsby Live was held yesterday at North Penn High School. Students and staff dressed the part and read the novel to celebrate literature. Nice hat, Mr. Nicholson. Congrats to Din Vo, who is the Transportation Employee of the Month for April. Here, the Infinite Campus Implementation Team is getting amped up for our new student information system. And human resources have been hard at work. Here, our recruiting team reports from a April job fair. Big thanks to all involved in sharing the NPSD story with prospective new recruit. That's your 21 Things for April. The Iron Knights Triathlon is Saturday, May 18th, and organizers still need volunteers. If you can help, please sign up at tinyurl.com slash npen430. 
The athletes make it exciting, the volunteers make it happen. Mamma Mia, did you forget to get tickets for the biggest musical event of the season? Secure your tickets to this year's spring musical, Mamma Mia. The show opens on Thursday, May 2nd and runs through Sunday, May 5th. Tickets are close to selling out. Order yours online today at nptheater.ticketleap.com slash mamma mia. Prices are $10 for adults and $5 for students. That's it for right now. We leave you with a public service announcement created by students at North Penn High School called Labels. I'm Melina Calarco. And I'm Eric Jesberger. Have a great day, North Penn.